Before we start, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and activate the notification bell. I will start with the HTML structure. I continue with the style. I decided the colors previously. This color matches with Sublime Text background. Like this. I will add a div that contains the canvas inside. Its class is container of course. Then we continue with creating the canvas element and we add width 500 and height 500. And I continue to create the CSS class container with the same size as the canvas and horizontally centered. Now get started with the script. And now let's define some constants. The first one is center of x. Since the canvas width is 500, the center of x is 250 and the center of y as well. The slices count is how many slices the pizza will have. Let's set it default to 8. Now let's define the pizza radius and set it to 150. Max distance is how far the slice can be away from the center of the pizza. Let's set it to 15%. The max rad is the same as the 360 degrees in radian half, or pi multiplied by 2. pepperoni size is how wide and high the pepperoni pattern will be. And I continue to define the pepperoni radius, which is how big each pepperoni will be. Let's set it to 15 pixels. Now get started with the colors I decided previously. Starting with the border color. And now the cheese color, which is yellowish, of course. I meant color. And finally, I said the pepperoni color. EE4400. Okay. Now let's reference the canvas element, but I need to set an ID for the canvas first. And now we get the two dimensional context of the canvas. Now get started with the making of the pepperoni pattern. This is the pattern image with the size 56 pixels wide and height. And I draw some circles. The first one is in the upper left corner. The second one is in the upper right corner. And I continue with a circle in the center. And finally one in the bottom left and other in the bottom right. And color it will be like this. And the final image will be this. This canvas will be temporal, only for the making of the pepperoni pattern. I set the size of the canvas, pepperoni size, and pepperoni size for the height too. 
now get the two-dimensional context of the pepperoni butter canvas. The field style will be the cheese color. Then I draw the background as the cheese color using the function fill rect and I use the pepperoni size for the width and the height. To this point I already have the background of the pepperoni pattern and I continue to define the coordinates of the pepperoni that will be drawn. First the upper left, the upper right, the center, the bottom left, And finally, the bottom right. Now, let's start drawing the pepperonis in the pattern. Now we draw the circle with the arc function of the canvas context. For radius I use the pepperoni radius. This is the center of the circle in the X and Y. Then max rad, which is 360 degrees in radians. And finally I fill the circle with the fill style. To this point we already have the pattern image ready to be used. We need something else. I return the pattern made with the create pattern function from the context. And we get the temporal canvas. And we want it to be a repeat pattern. And I call the function immediately so pepperoni variable will have the return value but not the function itself. I'm gonna start with the function to draw a slice. Here I call the global context. Then context begin path. Context fill style. We set the same color as the argument color. And I call the arc function again. Passing all the arguments from the function draw pi. I leave the draw order out untouched and then I fill it. Now I need to define the function that will iterate all the slices. I think this is the most complex part of the code. It's very important to understand the next variables that I will explain. The first one is slice size, which is max rat pi by slices count. The next is from radiance. which is 
the current slice starts from. Two radians is where the current slice ends. Half radians is the middle of palm between front radians and two radians. Distance is how far the slice will go away from the center of the pizza. The distance will be random. With all this information, we can determine the center of x multiplied by the cosine of half radians. These two variables are not to be confused, one is in uppercase and the other is in lowercase. The lower one is the display center of the slice. The uppercase is the center of the pizza. I copy this line and change for cy and cy these two and change cosine by sine. And finally I call the function draw pi. Center of X, center of Y, radius from radians to radians and border color. I copy it, and the second call will be only eighty five percent of the radius. And I set the color as the pepperoni pattern we made before. We only need to call the function draw slices and it will draw all the slices. Well, it didn't work. I think there is an error right here. And there we have it. South, I think there is another error because it is not drawing the pattern. I think I'm missing the field style of the pattern. I believe there is still something wrong with the circles. Right here, this all was missing. And done. As you can see, slices are shown randomly. And we finished.